So I'm working on a pinpoint metal detector and just wanted to share some of my findings. The pulse that you see on there is a result of the output of the metal detector. If I take something like a penny, put it in front of the sensor, you can see it's pretty sensitive. The actual sensor though is very, very tiny. It measures about maybe two millimeters by one millimeter. This is a uh, lead pellet. You can see how it is even able to detect the pellet. Standard BB. Actually notice it goes the other direction. The ferrous metal will go, will cause it to increase, whereas non-ferrous causes it to decrease. We got a quarter, same thing. And here's a, just a potentiometer. The back end of it is ferrous. You see how it causes it to increase. Now, it's it's pretty stable. I can touch it with my finger, and there's there's very little little disturbance. Um, it is temperature compensated as far as the the circuit that I'm using. Um, an interesting note, though, here's this is basically a rare earth magnet, and it, with a, with ferrous material, you notice how. Let's see, go back here. With like the BB, it increases. However, with a magnet at a considerable distance. Um, it decreases. I mean, and it's shoot. Hold on, picked up the BB. Um, that's that's probably about three inches, or I'm mean, sorry, three centimeters. So it's extremely sensitive and and very stable. Like I said, temperature compensated. Um, but now I'm working on this circuit, and hopefully I can uh, make some progress on it and uh, make it available uh, on eBay or something. So, um, check it out. Thanks.